Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the Q2-FY23 conference call of NDR Auto Components Limited, hosted by Kiran Advisors Private Limited. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode, and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, Please signal an operator by pressing star, then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Ms. Supriya Made from Kiran Advisors Private Limited. Thank you, and over to you, ma'am. Thank you. Good evening to everyone. I welcome you to India Auto Component Conference Call for the Q2 FY23 numbers on behalf of Kiran Advisors Private Limited. We have with us today Mr. Pranav Vedan, full-time director, Mr. Vinod Kumar, Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Sanjeev Kumar, Financial Advisor, and Mr. Rajiv Sandari, Executive Director and Company Secretary. For the opening events, now I hand over the call to Mr. Rajiv Sandari. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Belated festive greetings. I welcome you all to the second conference call of NDR Auto Components to discuss the performance of the company during the second quarter of FY23. It is a great pleasure to have you all on the call. I will quickly brief you about the company. NDR Auto Components is a flagship company of the Rohit Allen Group. The company was incorporated in March 2019 with a view to demerge the automobile seating business of Sharda Motor Industries Limited. The company is engaged in the business of manufacturing seating solutions like frames and trims for four-wheelers and two-wheelers vehicles. We have three plants located at Gurgaon, Haryana and Pathredi, Haryana and a newly commissioned plant at Bangalore. The management and the senior leadership team of the group have more than three decades of hands-on experience and expertise in this domain. The company is supplying seating arrangements to Rohit Allen Group, Bharat Seats, who is key supplier to the leading automobile companies like Maruti Suzuki India Limited, Ski Motorcycle, Toyota Bukuko, and Bensonica. Our seating arrangements are used in car models like Breza, Urban Tour, Sears, Wagonars, Swift Desire, Toyota High Rider, Grand Vitara, and Alto. In two-wheeler segment, our supplies are for Suzuki Zixxer and Suzuki Access. Our group companies, Bharat Seeds Limited, your company owns 28.66% in Bharat Seeds Limited, which carries on the business of manufacturing car seat assemblies, carpet sets for automobiles and motorcycle seats. The company posted a profit after tax of 951.4 lakh during H1 of FY22-23. Toyota Sharda India Private Limited. Your company owns 50% stake in Toyota Sharda India Private Limited, which carries on the business of manufacturing car seat lifter and recliner. The company posted a profit after tax of 189.58 lakhs during H1 of FY22-23. Toyota Bushoko Relin India Private Limited. Your company owns 50% stake in Toyota Bushoko Relin India Private Limited, which had no operations during the financial year 22-23 and incurred a loss of rupees 0 0.40 lakhs. Industry. We are a seating solution provider company, which falls in the auto ancillary segment of the automobiles. The growth is linked with, the, with how our OEM clients are performing. As mentioned earlier, the strong demand for vehicles is a key growth driver for our business. The automobile component industry turnover stood at 4.2 lakh crores, US dollar 56.5 billion, between April 2021 to March 22. The industry had revenue growth of 23% as compared to financial year 1819. In financial year 22, exports of auto components went up 
43% to 1.41 lakh crores, which is equivalent to US dollar 19 billion. As per the Automobile Component Manufacturer Association ECMA forecast, auto component export from India are expected to reach US dollar 30 billion by 2026. The auto component industry is projected to record US dollar 200 billion in revenue by 2026. Strong international demand and resurgence in the local original equipment and aftermarket segments are predicted to help the auto component industry grow 20 to 23% in financial year 22. The future is bright. Maruti Suzuki has sold a total of 5,17,395 vehicles during Q2 5, uh, FY23. The company recorded its highest ever quarterly volume, which rose 36% year on year, over 79,541 units sold in the year ago quarter. This is a strong enough to tell you that demand for our seating arrangement is robust. We are completely focused on our future growth perspective and have outlined a capacity expansion program. We have set a new plant in Bangalore, which has started commercial production from this quarter. We are also putting up plant in Gujarat to serve the requirement of new clients, and same is expected to commence its production from March 2023. Now, let me take you through the financial performance of the company for the second quarter of FY23. After having a robust start for Q1 to FY23, we continue to march strongly in Q2 FY23 too. For Q2 FY23 versus Q2 FY22 on standalone basis, the company reported total, reven uh, total revenues were higher by 70.18% to rupees 94.91 crores. EBITDA at 10.04 crores up by 93.82%. CPT at rupees 10.66 crores up by 162.56 percent. At at 8 rupees 8.48 crores up by 99.04 percent. EPS at rupees 14.15 against rupees 5.48 in the corresponding quarter. Uh, H1 FY23 performance highlights are as under. Total revenues surged by 57.68 percent to rupees 159 crores. EBITDA was at rupees 15.63 crores, up 67.34 percent. EBITDA margins at 9.83 percent rose 56.80 BPS. VAT grew 123 percent to rupees 12.62 crores, while while NPM expanded to 33 basis points to 7.92 percent. EPS for H1 FY23 was 20, rupees 20.96. Cash from operation was at rupees 13.75 crores. Now I open the floor for question and answers. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin with the question and answer session. Anyone wishing to ask a question? May please press star in one on your touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself in the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants request to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question is from the line of Suham Das from Vigilant. Please go ahead. Hi. Uh, thank you. Uh, the management has actually performed very stupendously, and it's a really impressive result. So I just wanted to ha uh, ask a few things. So is there an, any new production facility, especially the Bangalore facility that has gone online, that has created this uh, group, or is there something else? 
So it's the new Bangalore facility that has commenced production. And in, the, in addition to that, we have a new Alto which has started. Sorry, I couldn't get the last sentence. So the new Alto has started production. That's a great. model we never had in the past. Great, great, great. So I noticed uh, that while the current work in progress has come down, or the new CapEx facility has come online, uh, but the depreciation has not really gone up, rather it has stayed flat. Is there any particular reason that you have uh, for that? We have uh, changed the depreciation policy in the second house. Previously, depreciation right. was provided as return on value. Now it is uh, uh, aligned in according to the uh, estimate and considering the expected pattern of consumption of the future economic benefit embodied in the assets, the company has changed its method of depreciation of property, plant, and equipment from return down value to state line, which is in line with the automotive industry all over the world. Production yes. efficiency of the machine by and large remains similar throughout life of the asset by the following regular maintenance schedule. So in that case, and that uh, 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 depreciation rate has been changed. And uh, it has impacted the profit by one crore fifteen crore lakh in this uh, what uh, six, six months. Good. Thank you. Thank you. That was very clear. Fine, uh, sir. Uh, have we also acquired any new clients, or do we plan? If, if, if the, are the efforts on on those things? And if yes, then what is really the main uh, main driver that is going to uh, make us win new clients. So we, we are always looking to uh, add new clients. At the moment, nothing has uh, materialized. Once something materializes, we'll uh, let you guys know. Got it. Got it. Uh, last quarter, you also mentioned about the body in white uh, product. And any update has come through on the Belsonica uh, discussions that was so, happening over there? So again, we've again acquired some uh, the past and uh, we're looking to expand that relationship by uh, expanding yeah we want to expand that relationship got it thank you and i have, i will conclude my uh, line of questioning with only two uh, more questions uh, so while maruti's recent production numbers have shown a record uh, sales but we are seeing that the production models are more skewed towards the higher end suv models than the mid segment. Uh, so, do you see uh, any risk coming from there? No, in fact, I think that there's going to be a larger uh, uh, demand towards the SUV space going forward, maybe in a year or two. Got it. And we are in we are in pursuit of that opportunity as well. Yes. Got it. And thank you, sir. The one last question is that our other expenses have shot up quite dramatically. Uh, any particular reason for that? So I think in terms of percentages, it should be the same. Okay. All right. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Thank you so very much, sir. And a great showing again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Vihang Shah from Cogent Research. Please go ahead. Mm, thank you for the opportunity. So I have two to three questions regarding the uh, product portfolio that we have. So currently, we are providing seatings for uh, Alto, Wagen, Dryer, Breza, which are among top 10 pro, uh, products in India, along with the Maruti. So how much uh, do we provide to this uh, the cars uh, in terms of their uh, number of units? So all total requirement is fulfilled by us, or there are any other players who are also supplying for this, uh, this model? In case of Breza, in case of Jain mm Vitara, -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. these are all being supplied, uh, Siyaz, these are all being supplied 100% by, by us. By us. Okay. And Alto and uh, Swift is half. Okay, okay. So in terms of then uh, when we go to the high rider and urban cruiser space, so here we are also a sole supplier or are we we're a sole supplier for that 
ओके ओके सो हैव यू सीन एनी राइज इन द डिमांड फॉर दिस एसयूवी मॉडल्स इन द लास्ट टू टू थ्री मंथ्स आफ्टर द लॉन्च यस देयर हैज आई थिंक देयर इज अ सिक्स मंथ वेटिंग फॉर द मॉडल्स सो लेट्स सी हाउ द रैंप अप हैपेंस बैंगलोर फेसिलिटी वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग ओनली फॉर टोटा प्रोडक्ट करेक्ट सो इट्स फॉर द ग्रांड विटारा एंड द टोटा हाई राइड बोथ या ग्रांड विटारा इज बिल्ड बाई टोटा ओनली करेक्ट so okay. the yeah 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 and uh, so uh, if if we see in terms of smaller cars so is there any demand lag in uh, for for next uh, from booking from the maruti's uh, point of view like in terms of alto or uh, wagonar so i i think uh, better that you follow the track the maruti data for that <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. And uh, one more question, uh, sir. Uh, when we see our uh, operating cash flows that have shot up very drastically, any particular reason? Like, like uh, uh, when comparing to the last year, in the same period we were in the losses uh, in terms of op- at the operating level in terms of uh, cash flow. now we are generating around uh, 13 and uh, quarter to 14 crore cash flow so any working capital uh, challenges that we have seen that have eased out or uh, any particular reason no so our volumes have shot up and our new models have kicked in and they're at a good margin for us okay 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 yeah thank you so much thank you thank you The next question is from the line of the Lipta Thurwedi, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah, so, so my question is that uh, are we facing a raw material supply issue to meet the sudden rise in the production? We are not facing any raw material issues. Okay. Okay. And uh, what about our current capacity and its uh, capacity utilization? So for the NCR region, it's about six hundred and fifty thousand, and for the Bangalore plant, it's about two to two hundred and fifty thousand, and we are at an eighty to ninety percent capacity utilization. Okay, eighty to ninety percent. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to the participants: anyone wishing to ask a question, may please press star in one. The next question is from the line of Sandeep Mani, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Hello. 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 Yes, yes. we can hear you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I have two or three questions, sir. Uh, sir, as a Maruti CPK report, the report is the highest ever for a quarterly sales. How was our sales growth, and uh, would we supply their then their requirements? Yes, we were able to supply the requirements completely, and our sales grew okay. uh, more than the Maruti sales number due to in addition of two new models. Okay. Was our capacity sufficient to meet the uh, rising demand? Yes, capacity is sufficient to meet the rising demand. So, okay. And my next question is, uh, how is our order book? And uh, how is our uh, sorry, how is our order book? Are we fully book for the next quarter? So our order book is strong. We're setting up another footprint in Gujarat. Once mm-hmm. the, um, the new models come in, then we can discuss that. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We'll move on to the next question. That is from the line of Ankur Shah from Kosar Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, sir, can you uh, call out the capex on the Bangalore plant? So about thirty crores. Thirty crores. 
and you mentioned that uh, you were able to ramp up the bangalore plant to 80 85% or it is at the company level no it is going to be at the 200000 or 180000 volume of uh, the high rider and the grand vitara so at the moment it's not fully utilized because it just started production but going forward we expect it to be at 80 to 90% Okay, so see, I'm just trying to understand the risk which these plants uh, run. So let's say uh, right now, Grand Vitara and uh, uh, the uh, High Rider are are going well, and let's say one year down the line, these models uh, might phase out or you know the market preference might change. So, so what is the kind of risk uh, do we face in uh, such plants? So, so if I think about Bangalore plant where we are uh, primarily dependent on these two models. so what are the risk we face if the product phases out or if the competition is stronger than you know what maruti is doing so i think one way to mitigate the risk for us will be to look at adding new customers over there and we're looking to do that okay so so coming to the customer front now uh, obviously uh, like maruti has an ecosystem which is set uh, the parameters which are set uh and uh, uh, and you know uh, likely a new incumbent would find it difficult to enter into maruti stable so likewise when we are trying to approach uh, uh, the new customers uh, like w- can you you know throw some light or explain what is the process what is the qualification time it takes uh, how does a new product cycle build up uh, if you can throw some light we can get some good confidence about this diversity so i, I think to receive any order it's going to take at least 6 to 9 months if not longer and those will only be production for fy25 or fy26 so it's a good 3 year cycle okay so basically it's not that uh, the specific seals uh, uh, or the frames which are made uh, can be overnight uh, fun, uh, fungible uh, can be overnight you know used for some other uh, oem that is not possible right so no, that is not possible okay so it is specific to the oem yes okay 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 and and sir uh, last time you were mentioning about the new product uh, for a uh, which was a sizable opportunity uh, have we uh, gone ahead with any of those things so we are working on that and hopefully something uh, fructifies in a quarter or two that we can discuss with you okay and uh, like are we looking it from a trading point of view manufacturing point of view setting up a plant uh, can you just you know uh, at least highlight from because manufacturing point of view from manufacturing point of view okay yes. okay and the gujarat plant uh, i think you had mentioned last time but just to reconfirm it is primarily for maruti right yes Okay, and what is the capacity of that plant? That will be about two hundred thousand, two hundred to two hundred fifty thousand. Okay, so so basically on a base of around seven and seven hundred fifty thousand, we'll be adding two hundred, two hundred fifty thousand. Oh yes, I think the Maruti plant is going to stay at seven hundred fifty thousand. We've just acquired some share, so we are expanding capacity. Okay, okay. and the, the last question uh, which i found very interesting in this quarter is that let's say uh, you mentioned that we were not uh, positioned for uh, we were not uh, previously supplying to an alto model which we have started supplying so uh, when we enter into discussions with the customers uh, for a new model uh, what are the kind of uh, preference sets or uh, you know uh, the thought process which the customer runs over which we are we are particularly selected because uh, obviously because i understand that bharat seeds is a joint venture with maruti so that is an advantage but like is there any further room that you know in further new models wherever maruti is launching where we are not present uh, we can be present in a big way so i think we look at quality cost and delivery the performance of the company to select uh, any new vendor Okay. Okay. So, so for any new model, you are pre-qualified, basically. So once that com- starts commercial production, we'll let you know. Okay. Okay. Sure. Thank. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. A reminder to the participants: anyone wishing to ask a question, may please press star and one.
The next question is on the line of Soham Das from Vigilante. Please go ahead. Uh, hello, Dylan, sir. Thank you. Uh, so I had uh, three quick questions. Uh, do you have any fundraising plans uh, for the next year, financial year? So no, no fundraising plans at the moment. I think we can meet our requirements through our cash and books and our internal accruals. Got it. Earlier, you used to produce uh, seeds for uh, trains, uh, especially Shatabdi. Do you have any plans to re-enter that space uh, with the uh, introduction of new trains like Vande Bharat? I don't think we're focusing too much in the railway space. Uh, what we are focusing on is to add new products and new customers. Got it. Got it. And uh, do you have any plans of pursuing the export markets? So I, our product is not exportable, but product components might be. So we're evaluating that. We Got, it. Got it. Got uh, it. And sir, how much cash are we holding today? <clears throat> so we have about 60 crores. So 50 crores is on the books, and there's a 10 crore in the uh, corporate loan. So I think about 60 or crores. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Thank you, sir. That's all from my side. Thank you. A reminder to the participants, anyone wishing to ask a question, may please press star in one. <coughs> the next question is on the line of Vihang Shah from Cogent Research. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you once again for giving the opportunity. So I have uh, two questions regarding the price differences between the lowest and the highest model that we are selling. So that will be Alto and the High Rider. So what we, what is the uh, price difference between both the models, and what will be the average pricing for the well, average sitting set pricing? If you can throw some light on that. So I don't think we can give prices for models because of customer confidentiality. But what I can say is when the fabric when the trim changes from fabric to artificial leather is when our content really suits up. So, uh, or, so uh, uh, in terms of approximately what will be the cost difference, if you can say, uh, I'm not asking the exact price, but uh, if the Mar uh, Alto set is costing around, let's say, 1,000 rupees, so what will be the cost for, uh, approximate cost for the Grand Vitara? So just wanted to uh, see the gamut of the product. Uh, range with that we command. Again, I can't give those numbers. Substantial amount. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, uh, average also you can't to, uh, tell, correct? Sorry? Average pricing no, for a particular set. <laughs> pricing I think we can reveal. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to the participants, anyone wishing to ask a question, may please press star in one. The next question is from the line of Ankur Shah from Kosar Capital. Please go ahead. Sir, sorry, one quick question. Uh, sir, any outlook on margins? So we will maintain our EBITDA margins going forward. At current levels? Yeah, at current levels. Okay, and uh, sir, the price pa price passing mechanism, uh, like, is it very smooth uh, and is it very direct, or uh, there are some times where we are not allowed to pass on the price from the OEM? Uh, like, are the contracts very clear on the RM price passing? So the commodity increases. Yeah, correct. So, so if the commodity goes up or down, our pricing, uh, we we get it from the customer. So uh, it is 100%, right? Uh, it's not like 50, 60% or anything like that. 100%. Okay, so that way on an absolute per uh, set basis, we are more or less contained with the margins, right? Is that a good assumption? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. Sir. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to the participants, anyone wishing to ask a question, May I please press star in one.
As there are no further questions, I now hand the conference over to Ms. Supriya Madhye for her closing comments. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Nima, for joining the call. If you need any further assistance, please feel free to write to me at supriya at kidneyadvancing.com. I thank you, Mr. Management Team, and every participant. Thank you. Let me continue the call. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Kiran Advisors Private Limited, that concludes this conference call. We thank you for joining us, and we now disconnect your lines. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.